you might ask me, um, how does being integrated in society help you to overcome addiction? People overcome addiction primarily through natural processes. I have an approach to addiction called the Life Process Program for Addiction. And what it says is the more integrated and successful you are in managing your normal life processes, the better likely you are to overcome addiction. Which goes back to Charles Winnick finding out that most people overcome addiction naturally between the ages of in their late 20s and early 30s. The single element in that is parenthood. Most people, not all, are going to say when they're pregnant, oh my God, am I really going to keep drinking like this? Am I really going to keep smoking like this? Am I going to really keep shooting up heroin? Most people, when confronted with that choice or soon after the birth of their child, will vote in favor of the child. There's no mechanism in the history of the world that has caused more remission and addiction than becoming a parent, of course, including a man who, who doesn't carry the baby. And so that tells us something really powerful. And you can ask people why they quit smoking. Most people who quit smoking are going to have a kid in there somewhere, or health, of course, be up there as well. People get the message. People understand their responsibilities. And being integrated in society, having responsibilities, being held to standards, most, the most persuasive and powerful of which is being a parent, really straightens most people out. Nothing, no therapy, certainly not AA in the 12 steps, which is effective for one in 100 people, has anywhere near the impact of those kinds of natural processes, which gets us back to why we're doing the wrong thing in addiction treatment. In America, when we define addiction as a disease, we say, here's what we'll do. Let's build hospitals and treat people. In fact, the United States budget in social services has gone from encouraging employment and housing, on the one hand, towards encouraging specialized addiction treatment, which is exactly the wrong way to go. What if you take a guy from the inner city and put him in a hospital for a month, and he quits using heroin, and then you say, okay, bye, and he goes right back to the streets where he used to live. Everybody knows what's gonna happen. If instead you're able to encourage that person to develop ability to work, to become part of a community, to perhaps settle down in a permanent relationship to perhaps become a parent, those are the mechanisms which are most guaranteed. They're slow, they're difficult, they're expensive, they're comprehensive, which is why America hates them, because we don't think in terms of social solutions. We like to think, well, let's have a medical solution. So that's this is the single biggest danger confronting harm reduction is the misbegotten belief, oh, they're discovering great things in medicine. What we'll do is we'll use those medical solutions and we'll discourage people from being heroin addicts. Boom. In fact, that investment in medical solutions as opposed to social solutions in people's lives is a total misappropriation of resources and completely ineffective for addressing society-wide issues of addiction.